Our first note door is upon us. It costs 50 notes to get to the first door. Let's talk to the bottles first just to see what's up. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores. From the world must be at least this to break Grunty's spell magic whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. It all combines together with how many notes you've collected throughout all the levels. I've got a hundred. The first door opens with ease. We take a bow and we move on. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, you first and la- You're first and last. Well, that's just me. Also, hey, look, it's this lady. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time that she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find them. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. Okay, so like she said, every time you find her, she'll tell you one of, or three of Grunty's secrets. Why do those matter? Well, later in the game, you're going to need to remember them. Because, because, let's just say because. We should listen to them, though. They're fun to listen to. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug-flavored toothpaste. Ew. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Damn. Girl be... Like, where's FML at? I found his dream girl, dude. Found her. Anyway. Here's our next painting, or whatever you want to call it. Our next put picture, our next jiggy puzzle to put the jiggies back into. We only needed two jiggies to get to the next level. Treasure Trove Cove. Get ready for dope music, y'all. Let's put those jiggies in place. To remove pieces that you have already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture's complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Hey, Banjo, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. Shut the fuck up. Watch me be dumb as I put your jiggy back together, bitch. It's always fun to unlock a new level in this game, because you just get to see, you know, where it opens up. Especially if you haven't actually seen where the entrance is yet, and you're like, where is that? I gotta find that. Alright, we could go further up, or we can look around this room some more. There's a, some sort of green pressure pad here that we don't know what we can't do anything with. Wow. Fucking spoiler bottles. Anyway, it's called the shock disc, I guess. I honestly didn't remember the name. I know what the ability is. Also, hey, say hello to Cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. So yeah, that, those are pretty nice. If you find the other red cauldron in the castle, you can teleport between two different cauldrons to shortcut through the castle. It's nice. It's very nice. Very super cool. I like it. Alright. Well, I guess we are going up, because I thought... I thought the way to go for this was in this room, but I guess we have to go up first. Oh yeah, it's this room. Okay. This is the room I thought we were going to lead ourselves to. Alright, so in this room we can go in the pipe. Can we go above the pipe? I know where we need to go, and we'll explore all this eventually. But it's like, it's so pointless to get ahead of yourself in the castle when you can't really do anything in certain directions. So I think we'll just head toward where Treasure Trove Cove opened and move on, you know? Let's not waste time. Because there's multiple ways to go here. You can swim over there. There's, there's so many ways to go. But we want to go to Treasure Trove Cove, y'all. So let's do it. 
You guys excited? Can I do anything else out here at the moment? Is there anything useful out here? There's some red feathers. I like those. They may come in handy later. Wee! I'm a red feather. I'll help Kazooie fly when she knows how. When she knows how. Not a whole lot we can do out here at the moment. But that's okay. I'm ready to cove it. Wait, is there anything behind here? Nope. Okay. Let's go into the cove! Wee! Second level upon us! Wee! I feel like this is the level that stands out to me as like the first real like hell yeah level. This is Treasure Trove Cove. There will be two new moves for ye to find. Two new moves, you say? Alright. Sounds good. Okay, right off the bat. There's a Jinjo right beneath you, under the water. Seems pretty obvious and easy to get, right? Well, the problem with this level is as soon as you go into the water, a shark decides to be like, I'm gonna eat you. There he is. He's fucking terrifying. But I shook him quick. He couldn't catch me. I'm too good at the video game. I'm actually surprised I did that first try so smoothly. Grab that ginger like it was a fucking pro move, y'all. All right, let's go say hi to this friendly looking fella. Hey, this is Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Uh, cheeky bird, need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. All right, so now we basically had acted, and acted like a boss fight type situation. So yeah, I didn't mention this game last night. Wasn't that the, the break? No, I I didn't mention this one particularly, Mar. But this is one of the mini games I have on my 360 that I would like to play on the channel. So I decided that I wanted to play something. I mean, unless I was gonna play something I was gonna be able to finish in one sitting today, I wanted to play something that if I have to take a week off or two weeks off of it, since we are not gonna be here next week. Um, something I could just come back to and easily pick up and keep con continuing with. I didn't want to start anything where I'm going to be like, damn, two weeks off before I can finish this game? That's going to be weird. But anyway, as you saw, I whooped the shit out of that fucking crustacean. Just stab him in the eyeball, don't get don't get clipped on, and go inside of his dead body. Easy peasy. But yeah, that's the main reason I picked this game first. But I got plenty of more games on this 360 that we are going to... Uh, Get to. At least I'm three quarters around Tears of the Kingdom. True that. True that. Alright. You think I should do the Gerudo before we leave this Sunday? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I might, I might get around to that. It all depends on how much time I spend going underground and doing, and getting the sword and all that. But I do think I'm going to finish the underground Koga stuff first, or at least do the next step of it and see where it takes me next. Anyway, we got our first jiggy for this level. Good stuff. Alright. We should probably go find the abilities in this level before we get too far into this. Oh, yeah, yeah, camera. Don't mess with me. What depth step am I talking about? I need to go to the east side of the map and do the next step, basically. Find the, like, basically follow Koga to the next mine or whatever on the east side of the map. I haven't gone over there yet. <clears throat> this is your big chance, chicken legs. At last, oh, at last, it better be easy, ba guys. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc. Press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help in you into the air. See ya. Hmm. Your energy's a little low. Better heal me, bitch. I'll fill it up for you. All I had to do was say Yiki Clan. I said Koga. Didn't I say Koga? Is Koga not a not Yiki Clan? Now? Anyway, our second Jinjo's up there. <clears throat> we can fly, but hold on. Before I fly... Let's uh let's do some other stuff here on the boat. Mumbo token. Every level has mumbo. Well, no, I take that back. Not every level has mumbo. 
This level doesn't even have Mumbo, as I say that. Let me talk to this guy first. Gotta love his burp sounds. It's the best. I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, blubber guts. But I can't swim. Can you help you, old sea hippo? Sure. We'll find it for you. So his treasure's literally in his ship. You just gotta get under here and swim. Because water. He can't swim, apparently. A hippo that can't swim. Useless. <coughs> Useless. But he has two pieces of treasure, <coughs> as you can see. One of which is right here. Also, to make sure you get these notes. Give me notes. Quickly. Alright. We're good. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat decided to be like a bitch all of a sudden. So, to get to the other spot, there's actually a hole here on the side of the ship, which is kind of sneaky deaky. Grab these notes first because gotta take it all with me. Is there anything above the water in this spot? I forget. Anything up here? Nah, nothing. Nothing up here. That's cool. It's all good, baby. It's all good. All right, we got both of his treasures. Now we can take it back to his crying bitch ass, and he'll be a happy hippo all over again. This is the one piece of water in the whole level that does not have... Well, I take that back. Anything that's attached to the outside water, like the ocean the sea part, that's where the shark can show up. But since that's not... No shark. Lucky me. Here's your treasure, sir. Um, do I press a button? Oh. Just put his treasure back, Danny. Me treasure, thank me, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, 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 you fucking... Okay, well, have fun blowing all your money. I'll just take this jiggy, don't mind me. Duh-huh. Duh-huh. All right. Ooh, two jiggies down, baby. Two jiggies down. I want to learn the other ability before I get too far. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's over here. All right. Here's the other ability. Hello, Mr. Mole. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry. The turkey does all the work. Simple. Simply stand on a shock di jump disc, then press and hold A. Nice going. You've learned all the cove's new moves. Thanks, bro. Alright, shock pad, check it out. Spring! E cup, O cup. Alright, so that's how that works. It just kind of spring jumps you into the air and you can jump higher. It's pretty dope. Right, time to just start kind of gallivanting around the level and collecting all the things. Because we have the two new abilities here, and I'm pretty sure nothing will stop us from finishing this level. I think we have everything we need to one hundo the code. Oh, let's hundo the cove, yo. Get all these notes. We haven't flown yet, but don't worry. There's plenty of flying involved in this level to get it done, so there's no rush. Also, whoops, should have got this tree as well. Notes in the tree, notes, notes in the tree. Dang it, I'm gonna have to go back over Mia to get back up the ah. Dang it. Roo, 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 roo. Alright. Um, yeah, fuck it. Let's keep going this way. The wind is blowing outside, y'all. Is there anything useful inside of this fool? Let's see. Wee. There's eggs. Yay. Yeah, try not to hit that teeth situation. They will hurt you. Not so much his bite down that hurts you, it's just the teeth themselves. Just gotta avoid them. Right, anything in this water that I want? There's an Ecom Okom Tokon. Alright, 
right, so when you get in the water with this mine, you gotta be careful, because it starts chasing you around, and it can it blow up on you, and it hurt, and you don't want to hurt. I have enough health to withstand an explosion. I just don't want to hit your hip on it. It hoits, okay? Let me grab these nuts over here right quick. Leave me alone, craft. Damn, we got half the notes on this level? Not bad. Whee! Don't care about those eggs. Not really. Whee! Alright. The ginger over there. Just snap, snatch that up. Be careful not to fall. Ginjo! So we could technically use this situation to our advantage and shortcut down there and get what's behind here. But that's cool. Ooh, there's a one-up over there. Hold up. One-up! Ha! I made it. I actually didn't think I was going to make that. That was dope. That was, that was a pretty dope jump. Rue, baby. Rue. Alright, there's a dope. A dope? A deep. Deep water here. A dope deep water. With another jiggy under it. Make sure you don't miss that. Let's see if we can slide down here. Yeah! Fucking champion slide. Mumbo tokens. Give me those. So even though there's no mumbo on this level, you definitely want to collect all the tokens. You will need them all, or a majority of them, to actually get through the rest of the game and 100% it and get all the stuff and things. So try to get all the tokens, even in levels without Mr. Mumbo. Number. Get around. Let's take this from the way you're supposed to take it from, which is this direction. The treacherous way. Just don't let Mr. Shark Man become your daddy. Oh, God. I said don't let him become your daddy. Ah! Uh? Ah! Uh? Chompy Boy coming from the butt. He's coming from my Baron Bird Bomber. So I think there's a Jiggy back here. I could have just dropped down from above with a little speedrun tactics, but there you go. I did it the way you're technically supposed to find it, just to show you how it's done. I only have four jiggies, man. Jeebus. The longer, I mean, the more, the further we get into the game, the longer it'll take between jiggies. I shouldn't be complaining. I can see one of the honeycomb pieces out there. Um, and there's a one-up under the water. I don't even give a fuck about that one-up, to be honest. That one-up can suck my dick. Not Chomper, he ain't playing. Look at this dude. Look at this boy. He ain't playing. Wee! Oh, God. I regret, I regret. I wanted that Ikamokum token, though. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I want to get back over here. I'm just going to take the chance. Now, the shark doesn't kill you instantly. He just chomps on your ass. Holy crap, I actually got away without getting hit. That was impressive. I am impressed with myself. <clears throat> Alright, we pretty much did a lap around the whole level, which is good. Now we gotta go up above and do some more things and stuff. We didn't go over here yet, though. I said the whole level, but there's still this whole side. You can kind of see the advanced techniques of how to use the bounce pad here. You have to kind of... <clears throat> Press A. But if you still hold A, you can still do the jump. And that's how you master the bounce pad techniques. One Jinjo remains. That's right. You better die, Craft. No Craft around here, y'all. Alright, so got all the notes up here. Right. Just trying to get up to where this jiggy is. You didn't see it. Right, fifth one for the level. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Duh. 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 I think there's just feathers in that one. I don't care about feathers. We got new notes. 
You got notes. I want them. All the notes out of there. Alright, I'd love to go get that honeycomb. You know what? I'm going to fly to it, and then I'm going to swim back to shore. That's the safest way. I could do it the treacherous way. I could. But I'm not going to be that that daring right now. I already did the daring stuff. We'll do it a little bit more skill-based. Anyway, X marks the spot, y'all. Oops. I missed. X marks the spot, y'all. Follow the clues if you're looking for treasure. Hell yeah, I'm looking for treasure. Fly higher and higher. So every time you fly higher, it uses a feather. That's what he's explaining. Can we carry 50 feathers right now? Just how things go. Oh, there's. I still haven't gone to that other spot in the level. I totally forgot about it. Also, there's a freaking mumbo token behind the shell down there. I want it. And. Nailed it! Hell yeah. Basically, you gotta just follow the X marks the spots until you get to the end. Easily peasily. Is it raining again right now? It is windy. Hmm. Hard to say. It's definitely not as windy as it was last night. Holy crap. She was just kicked in quick. That Ohio wind, y'all. How weather and wind is picked up fucking quick last night. It was like it was like 90 degrees and shit outside. It was like 80 something, and then all of a sudden, boom! It was raining. And then he's like, "Where's the last one? It's literally right next to you. You can't hide from me, bitch." Get murked. Yeah, boy. Oh, then you gotta actually hit the treasure chest, bitch. That puts us at six jigs. Nice. Alright. There's a mumbo token back here, too. Motherfucker. Alright. Let me go get the token behind. Ecom token. Let me go get the token behind the big shell, dude, before I forget. And I'm gonna get back in the air and fly out to that honeycomb piece and grab that so I don't forget. Okay. I just want Ecom Tokam. Trying to remember where the other honeycomb thing is on this level. We still have to fly to where the like the we just did one of the two big flying things in this level. We still haven't gone up to where the real flying situation is supposed to take you. Which we will do in a moment. But first, uh I want to fly over to that little spot where the honeycomb piece is at. I want it. Also, there's a little cove over there. We should check out the... What is that called? Shard... 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 Shard Island? It's called Shark Food Island. There's actually a hole in that. Now, in the original N64 version, that Shark Food Island did not exist. Or at least you couldn't go inside of that little island. It was not open. But in this version of the game, they re-enabled it and let you actually be able to do it. It's funny that they weren't able to do the capability on the N64 for... I think they just decided to scrap the idea with what they were going for, but they re-put it back in this game, which is interesting. But I think it's because they were able to port both Banjo, Kazooie, and Tui both to the console. So they were able to easily re-enable this whole... I guess I'll just call it, I'll say what it is. It's like this stop and swap thing. You have to find all the secret eggs in the game. And once you find them all, you can go in there and get your rewards for it, basically. Also, I still haven't done this part. Oops. Let's do this part. I need to go up and around to get back up to where that little bucket-looking dude's up there. Anyway, I just wanted to get that honeycomb piece before I forget about it. I don't know if I remember where the other one's at. I might have to look around for a bit to find it. Unless I can somehow remember. Me leaky. No good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? Sure. Poop it in there. Yeah. Poop it again. 
Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bag. So yeah, you gotta patch the bucket up with some poopy eggs, which is weird. And uh, then he'll, uh, he'll open sesame for you. Make sure you go up here and grab these notes. I almost forgot about them. Easier to grab when the water's there, but not too hard to get up here and grab them. Inside the sandcastle we go. Now, gotta solve the puzzle, y'all. You're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. I'm so wise. So what's the puzzle? Bunch of letters on the floor. I wonder what I should spell, guys. There's no words on the screen to help you figure out what to spell. He says jokingly. Yeah, you literally have 100 seconds to spell out Banjo-Kazooie. Just pound down on the letters. They'll stay green when you do it. There's Banjo. Where's my K at? KKK. Boom. Ka 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 ka. Zoo 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 zoo. O. Oh. So many O's. Another O. One more O. One more O. I. And then E. Uh, e. Uh, uh, oh. I just spelled Banjo Kazoo. Hell yeah, give me my prize, bitch. Fuck you. My prize. That craft wanted a piece. So a piece he got. Alright, so quick note. This room. You might think, oh, man, you could spell lots of stuff in this room. Well, you can, and that's the point. You can actually spell out other words in here that actually unlock some secrets. This is basically the secret room of the game where you can unlock cheats and secrets. Uh, I might do some of that later, honestly, because I don't really remember what the things are off the top of my head. And there are some in-game hints to tell you what some of those are. So I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I might come back and uh, put some of those codes in later for funsies. Alright. A couple of them are actually pretty useful because they'll uh, increase your amount of feathers and eggs and stuff you can hold. I just don't remember what the freaking code codes are, to be honest. All right, I think I'm, for the most part, done grabbing everything in this level out here. I mean, unless I'm missing the honeycomb piece that I'm forgetting about or something. But anyway, we need to fly. Oh, wait, one more thing out here. I didn't actually go over here yet. Oops. Forgot I hadn't gone over here yet. There's a jiggy inside this treasure chest. I forgot about you, sir. We. Right, and I put set. Eight jiggies? Yeah, okay. So we just have the one more jiggy to fly where we need to get to. And of course we have the last Jinjo to find. They are both in the same general area. Which also requires me to fly. So I figure we'll do the flying part last. Unless I can't find the last honeycomb, which I don't... Again, where the hell is the honeycomb? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. I feel like it's... Oh, shit! I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up hard. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Boy, you shouldn't have done that. Ooh. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, I think actually my brain is like racking and I'm having a little bit of a memory of where the last jiggy piece, or the honeycomb piece is. I think it's behind a wall. Not be, like behind a wall, but like, it's basically on the outside edge of the level, like behind just kind of chilling somewhere. I think that's correct. I will confirm that when we come back down from up here. But first, we gotta get our last Jinjo, which is right there. And I believe we'll get the rest of the notes while we're up here. As well. And the last Jinjo. Pretty much be complete other than the honeycomb piece after this. I got a gamer pick? Dude. Gamer pick unlocked, bro. I already got all these gamer picks, by the way. Apparently you can still do the prerequisites and he'll still tell you that you got a gamer pick, so that's pretty much a thing. I don't think there's anything else I hear but some clams. Guess we'll just work our way up, y'all. Do I want to get up to this pad? Oh, God. Oh, come on. Is this a shortcut to get up higher? Uh, I guess so. 
Oh god, I don't think I have to go that way. I think it's just a shortcut. Let me just double check. Doubling, doubling my check. Probably a good thing I went this way. There's jiggies. Uh, not jiggies. Notes. Gotta have my notes. So I'm missing five notes. Hell. Also, note, this is where the Gruntilda switch is for this level. Every level has one of these. And it always unlocks a jiggy that's outside the level. So make sure you find all those. Anyway. Um, there you go. Mumbo token. Ah, the last five notes are up here. Good shit. All right, we got all one hundo. Good shit. And we also got the last jiggy 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 call that bitch Bojangle. So literally all we're missing is the second hand piece. And we're done with level two. Killing it. Killing it like a fucking pro. Kinda. I mean, I've only been playing for an hour. I've already done two worlds. You think I could f handle falling down? I probably could. I know you, I know I can do it, but I don't want to know. I don't I don't really have my bearings right now. Bearings. Uh -uh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So, where the fuck is that last honeycomb piece? I want to say it's on the back side of something around the outside of the wall. Board. It might be around the back of this one. No. I think it might actually be over on the other side over here. I want to say it's on the back side of one of these. It's not back here, is it? I don't think so. I want to say it's over here. Right down here. There it is. Yep, I was correct. All right. Give it to me! I can live with the chomper coming at me if I get this. As long as I get this, I care not about anything else. Oh, come on, chomper. I'm trying to get out of your way, bro. Don't murder me, bro. I'm just a boy. I'm just a bear and a bird and a boy playing the video game. Whew. Okay, we're good. All right, and just to confirm, are we done with Treasure Show Cove? We absolutely are, 100%. Good shit, y'all. GG's. Let's go get our honeycomb, uh, honeycomb, our jiggy piece outside. And then we're truly done with the whole treasure trove code situation. We will only return to put in codes and maybe check out that whole secret thing with the, with the eggs and the stop and swap situation. You know, all that jazz. I think the honeycomb piece, or the, the jiggy shot up to here. Maybe. No, it shot to the other side. Shit, I thought it was over here. I was wrong. Refilled my health from freaking Shark Boy chomping on me. What's up, bitch? Come at me. You don't want to see me? Alright, and that's another jig, 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 jig. Bitch. Oh yeah, and if it isn't obvious already, there's actually ten jiggies inside of Gruntilda's lair as well. Is that actually on the view totals? I think so. Yeah. Ten jiggies here too. I've gotten three so far. That's why you have to get all the switches in each level, because you'll unlock the jiggy and 